Welcome everyone to this new session. My name is Mary Kim and today I'll be building this Twitter postcard. Okay, so with no further ado, let's quickly jump into that. And to start this, I'll create a boilerplate and I'll type here in my HTML. I'll just type HTML5 and we get the whole boilerplate here. So what I'm going to do next is change the title. I'll say Twitter. I'll just say Twitter card to make it easy and I'll have a main tag and inside this main tag I'll have a div of postcard and again I'm using Emmet to create those divs easily and in this postcard I'll have a post and here to create my classes I'm going to use the BAM convention okay so now I'm going to say postcard left because i'll have two sides like the left side and the right side so next i'm going to create another div and this is going to be postcard postcard right because this is the right part of the build right okay so after creating that the next part i'm going to add an image on the left side and here i'll say image source and I'll add a source later and this is going to be my profile and I'll just say profile so now on the left side I'm going to what I'm going to do on this left side is creating another div and this is going to be postcard after the, the right part I'm going to say postcard right but now the name and that's how I'm going to name it and inside here I'll have an anchor tag and for that reference I'll just put slash and now I'm going to put here marking this way so next step after creating that I will add this Kim Murdy and if you check on Twitter we have a username and a name so the username is going to be Markim and this is going to be now the real name okay and we'll have a dot and we'll have a date and that date is also a link so I'll put that inside of an anchor tag and the date i'll just put august 20 august like that okay so next step i'm going to create a paragraph outside of this name i'm going to create here a paragraph and i'll say uh, hello hello world okay to make it easy and i'll say this is a twitter imagine you are tweeting i'll say this is a twitter card made in cyrus delta labs okay so now down down this part i'm going to put an image and this is going to I'm going to provide the link for this image and next step I'm going to create another div down here and this div is going to have let me use Emmet and it's going to have postcard postcard right postcard right but now it's going to be called actions and inside here we are going to have all the actions like commenting liking and so on so for now inside here i'm just going to put uh, this e and i'll give it a class of bi because that the bootstrap icon and i'll be adding those icons later on okay so i say ctrl v and here i will just duplicate this a number of times okay and once twice three times four times and i'll need that five times for the number of icons i will have so now if we go back to our browser and we give that a try oh this is what we get up until this point so next step, I'm first going to get my picture from the internet and provide a link 
so I will click here on images uh, give it a sec okay and this is the image I want to this is the image I want to copy and add that to my VS code okay and I'll provide it twice so we'll have here we'll have source I say control V and again there is another place we're going to put it here and it's on the image I also say control V so now to go a bit faster I'm going to go back and grab the that bootstrap I I mean the bootstrap icon CDN and here all I'm going to do is to type bootstrap okay let me just get rid of this of that tab and I'll say here bootstrap icons bootstrap icons then I click right here so I'll just scroll down until until till I reach the end so that I grab this code here the CDN and this is the code I'm interested in this one right here so I'll copy that it's under CDN the first one and it's the CSS I'll just bring that in my I'll bring that in my header and another thing I'm going to link I'm going to link this style.css so that our styles get applied so that our styles get applied to our web page to our web page right so I've added this and copied the link I got from internet so the next step I'm going to do is now to add those elements or to add those icons and the first one is going to be chat uh, bootstrap icon chart the second one is going to be I think it's called arrow down no left right arrow left right this way the third one is called heart for the like for that like part and the fourth one it's called upload upload and the last one it's called I think bar it's bar chart I think yeah so if I go back and give that a try hopefully we should see it in practice so I go back I refresh okay we get something two pictures some text and our icons down there so now it's time to style all that and to do the styling i'm going to start okay let me first go back to my ide and now what i'm going to do here is go to my css and say all i select all the elements and i give them a margin a margin of zero because i'd like to remove that default margin that is added to all the element in the browser so i'll say also font family I would like to say sans serif because so I would like to remove that serif and put a sans serif. Now I'll say the main tag. This main tag is going to have a height of 100 view height so that it covers the whole height and the width of 100%. So next I'm going to say display flex, display flex, ally flex align items center uh, and justify content also in the center so next step i'll give it a background color and it's going to be the white smoke and flex direction flex direction is going to be column just like that so that everything gets placed in columns okay and now if we give this a try hopefully we should see something changing so we give this a try we refresh okay now everything is centered in the middle and now the 100 view height stops there that way we get the white here but don't worry we are going to style that in a second so now 
the next step i'm going to select a postcard itself so that i give it another styling say postcard and this postcard is going to have a width of 500 pixels and you can give it instead of giving it a width you can give it a max width depending on you and i'll say this play flex and background color is going to be white i would like that to to be different from this main okay and the next step at this point if we try that we won't see much change but let me continue styling so that at the end we get something that looks like that twitter card and if you have ever used twitter you see when you hover over an element it changes the color from white to some kind of gray okay and now this is what i want to implement here when i say postcard hover so when i hover over that element i would like to change the background color to rgb and that is going to be 250 248 and 248 okay so that it becomes a little bit gray if i give this a try i refresh hopefully something should come out okay now these elements are placed in that display flex but now you won't see the hover effect but you should see that at the end let's continue with the styling and get something that looks like what we want to build right so i'm going to say post postcard left postcard left padding left i would like to give it a padding left the padding left of 20 pixels a padding right a padding right of 20 pixels also and a flex of 0 0.1 i would like that part to take only 0 0.1 and display is going to be flex uh, all i'm going to do is to justify content in the center now what does this do this takes the element this first image and change it to like a sort of avatar and is going to place it on the left side so now after doing that if we give it a try you should see something there so i refresh remember you should always refresh your page so after refreshing you won't see much changes because we haven't yet touched the image but in a second you'll see how it changes okay so what i'm going to do next is to style the right side a little bit i'll say postcard right and this is going to have a padding a padding of 20 pixels and it's going to have a flex of one that means it's, it will take the whole available space okay and it's also going to have a display of flex and the flex direction should be column column like this because whatever is inside that right part would like it to be still one down another one down another okay so now after doing that uh we are going to work a little bit on the paragraph of the post itself where i had said hello world this is the post made from cyrus delta lab i would like to work a little bit on that and i'll give it a width of one no 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 this is not what i'm saying it's the margin not the width this is the margin and it's the margin top maybe i should say 10 pixels because that is like the common used padding and i'll say margin bottom this margin bottom is going to be equal to 10 pixels also so now let's try to style the images and i'm going to start with the right image and i'll say postcard right image and this is going to be equal to width of 100 percent and the border radius 
border radius of 10 pixels of 10 pixels that way we are going to get something that is closer to what we, are, we want to build actually so if i give this a try or before before giving that a try let me style that the avatar and i'll say oscar left image and this i'm going to give it a height and the height should be 2.4 rem and also a width maybe 2.4 rem and a border radius that it gets it becomes like a circle i'll say border radius this is going to be equal to 50 percent so now if we give that a try hopefully we should see something working right so now i refresh okay now it already it looks like the, the real twitter right now the left part is all this part all this part right here where we have this avatar and this remaining part is the right part and these icons they come from bootstrap icons and we have our anchor tags the paragraph and that's pretty it so let's continue the styling so that it gets closer to twitter and we'd like to we'd like it to be a bit nicer than it is so i'll say postcard postcard right name and that class is already in our html right here let me show it to you we have it right here and i'll say that the styling i'm going to apply on that element i'll say display flex display flex this one align items align items to the center now what else can i do here uh, I'll say postcard, postcard right actions. Let me style that one also. And I'll say font size, font size of all the elements inside there. That means it's going to apply to all the, all those icons that will have a font size, of, a font size of 18 pixels and a padding. And we'll give this whole div a padding top of 20 pixels no no 20 pixels is too much maybe 13 pixels yeah or oh, actually let me say 14 pixels so that we see that in like in practice or in real okay after doing that we are now going to target all the icons inside of that inside of that part okay and when i talk about the icons i talk about all these icons inside of this postcard right actions now to target that i'll say direct element like this that's how you type you target the direct element of a parent and you'll say margin you want to give them a margin right a margin right of 50 pixels so that they get a space between them or among them so now if we give this a try hopefully you should see that okay we now have some spaces among all these elements and now you see that hover effect coming in place when my cursor is out of that element it's a bit white when my cursor comes in you see it changes the color when i hover over that element so now we want to style these anchor tags right right now they look ugly and they have this blue color and the underlines but we don't want that at the moment so i'll have to style that and all i'm going to say is to say all and all anchor tags of that specific page should have a color a color of black and a text decoration of none okay that way we have removed that text decoration or that underline and we have removed that color I mean this underline and this color so if you refresh now they are black okay they look normal but now um, 
for good user experience we would like maybe to to add that underline when someone hover over here i mean when someone hover over an anchor tag and to do that it's straightforward i'm just going to say anchor tag hover and what i'm going to do is to say text decoration and this text decoration should be underlined okay so after doing that if you go back and refresh let me refresh and if you try that now when you hover the the underline comes in place okay but i had just put it to slash that way it has brought me there now this one i would like also to style it a little bit because right now this is touching the border right the upper border but i'd like it to be somewhere around here and to do that i'll go back here to my vs code and let me first check the html it's postcard left image okay now all i'm going to do here on this one i'll give it a padding top i'll give it a padding top of 20 pixels and let's give that a try and see how it looks like so if i go back here and i refresh okay now the padding is there but it it doesn't look like we want it right because this is no longer a circle uh, let me try to change this instead of a padding top let me say it's a margin top okay so after changing after changing this margin this the padding to this margin top now if i give this a try hopefully it should work the way we want it right this is how it's supposed to look and that way we have built the twitter postcard okay now it looks really like a twitter postcard you, you can use it in your project and maybe output these values dynamically using an api and so on but this is practically how it works right uh, or how you design a twitter a twitter postcard and guys if you want to see more and more of this kind of tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and i'll catch you in the next one